All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go over the top 10 best loadouts in season two of Call of Duty Mobile. So what are we going to start off with? Um, you know, obviously, I want to begin by saying that I do use female skins. You guys know me best. This does not all um, this does not change at all. Right. So everything is basically the same from score streaks to perks to operator to, um, you know, uh, tactical and lethal and also you know having that secondary you know everything is relatively the same i do not change literally anything the only things that i would change here would be uh the green perk from ghost to quick fix but most recently you know people using persistence and things like that i kind of like to use ghost just in case if they get those advanced uavs i'm um, still hidden from the enemy but starting off with loadout number one this is still the best gun in the game even though it received a nerf the Type 25, here's going to be the attachments I run for it. Um, pretty standard. Honestly, the Type 25, I would still probably rank it the number one best gun right now. Um, and so, yeah, that's going to be the Type 25. So on to the second loadout, we do have the M13. The M13 is a phenomenal assault rifle. I really like the M13. I know a lot of people also recently in the comment section down below, uh, my previous videos have been asking me for a, uh, a gunsmith build. And the gunsmith build is going to be this for it. Uh, monolithic suppressor, disable perk, OWC laser tactical, large extended mag being granulated. This is the best um, M13 gunsmith build you can use. Uh, it's versatile. It literally melts your opponents quickly. And honestly, I will say that the M13 and the Type 25 are pretty much neck and neck uh, right now, but I will give it to the Type 25 just because of its uh, long range you know, capabilities. But, um, you know, going to the third loadout, we do have the CBR4. The CBR4, or otherwise known as the P90, pretty standard SMG, basically the best SMG currently right now. Um, it's pretty much uncontested at this point. Even with the RUS buff that recently came in Season 2, it is still not um, going to overpower the CBR4. So CBR4, this is what I'm running with. Monolithic Suppressor, OWC Marksman, YKM Lightstock, OWC Laser Tactical, and Rubberized Foregrip Tape. Pretty much basically all recoil based component attachments so I can control the recoil and just sort of, um, you know, beam my opponents with it. But moving on to loadout number four. Loadout number four, I have the Kilo. The Kilo is an interesting assault rifle. I like using it. It's very fun to play with in ranked. It's more like one of those guns like you use like an LK24 uh, BK 57. It really does feel like I'm playing with one of those guns, even though this gun is really good and kills quickly. Um, it still is not up to par with the M13 or the Type 25, right? Because those guns have high fast fire rate and they kill so fast, close range and long range that the Kilo, I would actually put it around the third, you know, the third tier assault rifle. Uh, so in the top three, but in the third place position, here's going to be the gunsmith build for it. I think this is probably going to be the best one. Uh, monolithic suppressor, disable, OWC laser tactical, large extended mag being granulated. I used to not run disable perk on this, but ever since the buff, I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and try disable perk on, and it's actually a lot better. Depending how you like building your guns, on ARs, I like using disable perk because no matter where you shoot the person, um, it could be torso, legs, arms, head, uh, they, you know, they get slowed. So it's actually very broken right now. And yeah, so uh, moving on to loadout number five. Loadout number five, I do have the Bison here. The Bison is one of those guns where I just use it just to sort of, you know, have fun and ranked, right? Like I just, I want to chill. I just want to have a large magazine, but I also kind of want to play SMG. So, you know, even though Bison is not really uh, a top tier meta right now in terms of weapon choice, it's still a very good SMG nonetheless. Um, for, the, for the Gunsmith, I am running... Monolithic Suppressor, OWC Marksman, No Stock, Granular Grip Tape, and OWC Laser Tactical. I do not use the Large Caliber Magazine or the uh, uh, Caliber Magazine that increases the uh, multiplier damage because it really reduces the range. And one of the main things that I've noticed is like if you use the gun without that mag in particular, the gun will do a lot better and will actually kill quicker rather than having the mag. Um, and that's just like how I feel about it from using it. I could be wrong. Like I said, maybe for you guys, if you guys are running that ammo attachment and it's working for you, it works for you. But for me and the way how I play in the play style, I really like to take long range gunfights with SMGs for some reason. I know it's, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of dumb for that, but it's just how I like to play. So that's kind of the reason why I have my bison built like this. So moving on to loadout number six is the PPSH. Now I also forgot to mention that PPSH actually is pretty good. Um, I would definitely say that it's still under par with the CBR4. CBR4 is up there. You know, you got that. And then you have the number two SMG, which is the PPSH. But um, 
I think it's really good. Um, still, I don't really use it a whole lot. I should be using it a lot more because I have a lot of fun playing with it. But, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been using Type 25, M13, and um, Kilo 141. So just moving on uh, to the PPSH41. Uh, here's going to be the gunsmith build for it, the monolithic suppressor, uh, banner heavy, OWC laser tactical, 55 round light reload, sturdy grip, sturdy grip tape, and uh, yeah, that's going to be that for the PPSH 41. Uh, moving on to the seventh loadout, we're going to be doing the Locus. Uh, Locus is just a fancy, you know, simple assault, a simple, a simple sniper rifle. I don't really like to go, you know, too heavy with it. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I really just, you know, prioritize having that Locust build and just having one sniper in my classes. And this is sort of what I like to run with it. Here's the Gunsmith build. YKM Lightweight Short. OWC Le Skeleton Stock. I like to use a perk on this fast switch so I can switch to my knife or my um, pistol depending on what I'm using. So that way I can, you know, secure the kill or run away. Uh, laser Tactical and Granular Grip Tape. This is a fast fire uh, not fast firing this is a heavy ads fast ads and uh you know pretty accurate build uh, to be honest but moving on to load up number eight it's going to be the holger i really like the holger i think still as an lmg it still dominates in the lmg category despite all the but i mean the nerfs that's gone over the course of its life cycle in the game uh due to the fact that it's very good when you build it as an lmg if you try to build it more of an ar it's going to underperform for a couple reasons number one the ads bolt spread accuracy uh gets you know worse and number two and number three uh you you are not going to have as much utilities here's the thing with sm lmgs right when you're when you're using an lmg it's more of a teamwork type of play style so you know you're you're staying on objectives you're clearing objectives you're not necessarily slaying so when you're building it in the lmg form it's going to perform a lot better and let me show you my gunsmith build for that monolithic suppressor classic red dot sight disable perk owc laser tactical and granulated definitely on the holger honestly any lmg you use at this point you have to run disable perk on it because you it it, it literally is going to help you so much from all the enemy opponents that are going to be sliding running fast jumping bunny hop i mean you name it right like players are doing crazy movement to not get you know to not get outgunned by you and if you're using an lmg this perk is absolutely necessary always use like i said on assault rifles and lmgs you want to use this perk now depending on how the gun is and how it performs definitely try to make it work with that and let's go ahead and go to loadout number nine I like the QXR. Honestly, these last two um, loadouts I'm about to show you, which is obviously the QXR and then the other one, but uh, I have the QXR here because I still love this SMG. I think this SMG is great. Uh, obviously, still not as like, you know, it's only good on close range maps, right? Summit, shoot house, uh, maybe standoff if you're playing objectives or hard points and, you know, securing flags and whatnot. It's just for me personally, like the reason why I have this here, it's all tailored for me specifically. You know, I like to use some guns that are off meta because it's like, you know, it gets boring using guns that are, you know, constantly meta and, you know, making videos on guns that are, you know, just meta, meta, meta. So I like to switch it up and use different guns, um, you know, every season and try to, you know, sort of, you know, uh, give myself a little bit of a competition just so that way I can kind of, you know, see how the meta actually is. Uh, when I'm not using a meta weapon myself. And so with the QXR, it's a very good SMG, definitely up there in the top four, but you know, obviously not meta compared to CBR4. But if we take a look at the loadout that I'm using, monolithic suppressor, MIP light barrel short, enhanced bolt perk, OWC laser tactical, and granular grip tape. This is probably going to be the most optimal. And this gun, actually, the QXR did receive a buff um, this season as well. It doesn't quite get it there to that top three SMGs or like, let's say the CBR level. But it it it's playable. It's playable. I like using it. It's fun. Honestly, I I probably honestly, if this gun ever gets buffed again, I will probably be playing it more than any other gun in the game. <laughs> so moving on to loadout, which is going to be the last loadout. It's going to be loadout number ten. It's going to be actually be the Jack Twelve. I have not made a video on this gun yet. I'm actually I'm going to make a video on this SM. I mean on SMG shotgun. God, man, I'm just <laughs> horrible today. But. The Jack 12 is a really, really good shotgun, automatic shotgun, very well, I mean, very good, very versatile, very good on close range maps. I mean, honestly, if you're on summit and shoot house, you're going to have so much fun on this map. Um, I would say even standoff too as well, like very comparatively to QXR, any close range map with a shotgun and an automatic shotgun at that, you're going to do a phenomenal, you know, you're going to have a phenomenal performance. So, you know, moving on to the 
uh, Gunsmith itself. What am I rocking with? Monolithic suppressor, MIP extended light barrel, OWC laser tactical, extended magazine, granulated grip tape. I think, you know, depending on how you like to, you know, use your shotguns, I obviously like a little bit of accuracy and range with mine. I don't really care too much about like, you know, like, you know, the ADS speed and whatnot. Cause like I, I have it, I have it to where, you know, I have my shotguns are in hip fire mode. So I can just ADS manually, just like my snipers. Um, so that way I can have full control of, um, you know, when, to, when I want to ADS and when not to, because with shotguns, the play style is a little bit different. Like you're really playing super aggressive. You're playing aggressive all the time. You're doing crazy movements. It's, it's as if you're using a sniper, but you're just using, you know, a either, you know, pump shotgun, one pump shotgun or an automatic shotgun. But yeah, so that is basically going to be it for the top 10 loadouts of season two. Relatively the same from last season. Um, probably next season, it's going to change a lot. Once the new season drops, I'll be making, you know, like I said, a top five list as well and other videos and such. But if you made it this far into the end of the video, please go ahead and leave a like. Please go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below what type of video you guys would like to see next. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Peace. <music>